Okay, and what's going on? Bipolar and the doctor, his psychiatrist, is weaning him off of medication to put him on a new one. And it's not good. What is he doing okay, now? I just, well, I just came home from work. He's cussing up a storm and he punches some, some, he punches some holes in the wall. Okay, and does he have any weapons on him? No, but there's weapons in the house. And they get behind this little retaining wall. Now, the wife's on one side trying to help and talk. You got Deputy Walter and you got Deputy Atkins. And they're, hey, listen, we're here at Sheriff's Office. We're here to help you. You know, your wife's outside. We want to come out and talk to you. And the guy starts with expletives. Don't get out of my house. Get out of my house. I don't want you in my house. And they're like, uh, Deputy Walter is, is doing a good job. Hey, we're not in your house. We're, we're just outside. We're just trying to talk to you. And clear as day, you hear the shotgun rack. And if you've ever heard a shotgun rack before, it makes the hair in the back of your neck stand up when you're on the other side of the door or the wall. And clearly, the video, you really can't see him come out of the house because at that point, Deputy Walters turns and grabs the wife and runs with her. And then you hear a series of gunshots. When you look at uh, Deputy Atkins' video, he, you hear him scream, gun, he starts to retreat backwards away from the door and then he fires and you really it looks like his camera kind of moves as he does it and what everybody seems to be saying even the wife is he comes to the door and levels the shotgun at the deputies he's out of the, out of the threshold and he levels the shotgun at the deputies was he, was he going to shoot the wife because the wife didn't want him, didn't want him to know she had called 911 was he coming after the deputies we don't know but i can surmise for the camera to pick up that shotgun racking he was behind that door so had Deputy Atkins going through the door, originally, there's a chance that Deputy Atkins could have been shot for, by going into the house. But Deputy Walter, being more senior and more seasoned, he kind of read that situation. I think he read it perfectly. I think he did a phenomenal job. He, they backed off. They tried to talk to this guy. You're listening to the wife saying, hey, he doesn't have a violent tendency with a gun. And then when that guy comes out of the door with a gun, Deputy Walters doesn't, Walter doesn't freeze. He doesn't pull his gun and shoot. He doesn't freeze. He automatically turns and grabs her and starts to get her out of the line of fire. And, and Deputy Atkins, he knows that there's the deputy with his back turned. Deputy Walters got his back turned. They're trying to get away from this guy. I got to do something. And, and his actions, I believe, stopped Deputy Walter or the wife from being, or himself from being severely injured. Um, it is an absolute terrible tragedy. Those guys did not come to work last night to kill him.